Hi, my name is Dr. God King. This is a presentation about the visual language of fractal grading. Our goal is to help people rapidly master the visual language of fractal grading. But first, let's look at the big why of fractal grading. The big why of fractal grading consists of four intentions. The first one is to transform Sierra Leone, which is a country in West Africa. Our second intention is to transform youths. The third intention is to transform Africa. And the final intention is to transform the world. Once again, I am Dr. King and I'm the inventor of the fractal grid technology. So what problem does fractal gridding address? Today, our environment all over the world is mucus and mucus is an acronym for messy, uncertain, complex, unpredictable and simplex. In a mucus environment, there are both dangers and opportunities. And the big question is, how best can we maximize opportunities while minimizing threats in a mucus environment? We urgently need a new way of exponential thinking and doing that we call fractal grading. And fractal grading is essential because in an exponential world, you can't continue thinking about problems in a linear manner. So there is an urgent need for a new way of thinking, which we call fractal grading. Here, I'm going to talk about the what of fractal grading and also its definition. Fractal grading is a term which I coined and it describes a language and methodology to better and daily organize our lives at school, home, outdoor and work using the multi-level solar system of sun, planets and moons of a fractal grid. But there are so many terms here that we need to look at some of them more closely so that we can speak the visual language of fractal gridding. So this can be described as a fractal grid at level one and it consists of a box of boxes. You can call this a tic-tac-toe box in that it generally looks like a tic-tac-toe board. So, but the center is highlighted and that is what makes it unique as a fractal grid. So what really is a fractal grid? The table which we see above is a two-dimensional map of a fractal grid. And we can describe a fractal grid as a zoomable three by three object table or tic-tac-toe map with a highlighted center. This center is called the sun and each surrounding cell of the sun is called a planet. And each planet can be regarded as a three by three fractal grid so that it has its own surrounding moons. So, Let's talk more about the structure of a fractal grid. The first term which you should know is the sun. And as I said before, the sun is the center of a fractal grid that is highlighted. If we zoom out of the sun, we can still see the sun, but it's now surrounded by eight planets. The main topic of any project can be put in the sun and the planets could describe subtopics of that main topic. So we are using the solar system configuration to refer to containers of information. They are not necessarily planets on the outside, although this description exactly fits how our solar system is organized. So once again, the sun refers to the center, which is surrounded by planets. Now we are looking at the fractal grid at level two, so we can still see the sun, we can still see the planets all around it, 
but at level two we can zoom out and surrounding each planet are moons so we have the sun we have the planet and when we zoom out of the planet we have the moon so we can continue this zooming out or zooming in to get to more and more detailed levels this is still a fractal grid at level two but now the planets are, are colored so we can talk about the blue planet the red planet the orange planet the yellow planet it's we are still talking about branching in terms of the main heading which is the sun in in terms of subheadings and then when we go to this level we are talking about subheadings of subheadings so it's just a way of structuring any type of information or drawing or objects it's a tool for organizing information or objects so that our lives can be more effective and efficient this shows the satellites of a planet which we call a moon and here we can see violet moons of the violet planets so another thing which is necessary for the vocabulary of the visual language of fractal grading um, would be levels there are multiple levels and in fact there are infinite levels so at level zero is the sun so this is a level zero fractal grid and you can see that it's similar to any page or blank piece of information so we have been using level zero fractal grids but we have not been referring to them as sons or recognizing that they are at a single level but in the language of fractal grading we recognize multiple levels and the sun is regarded as at level zero so if we zoom out of the sun we go to level one we can still see the sun and surrounding the sun are the planets if we zoom out of level one we go to level two this is a level two fractal grid we can still see the sun in the middle we can see the planets but then we are able to see what's surrounding the planets which are moons so this is how the language of of fractal grading works and this one shows the various planets but they are now colored and we are still at level two so what are applications of the fractal grid the fractal grid can be applied to organizing information in every domain except that it's more effective efficient and fun to use so one of the ways in which the fractal grid can uniquely be used is to develop organizers and templates interestingly any organizer or template that is prepared using a fractal grid becomes a reusable object which we can call an app so here we are going to show a few apps as examples of of applying the fractal grid this is a four seasons app and it's just a fractal grid at level two which so shows season the four seasons of the year so the four seasons is the main topic then we have four planets summer autumn winter and spring and these can be summarized using the acronym SOS. s a w s allows you to summarize everything and we can also move to level two which means that each season can be divided into months these months can be divided into weeks the weeks can be divided into days the days can be divided into hours so it's this branching structure that the fractal grid so effectively captures and everything as far as i know can be structured in terms of the fractal grid because it's the fundamental principle of deconstructing and constructing objects so here we show the directions of a compass and we can see the north south east and west and the intermediate directions one advantage of summarizing the information using a fractal grid is that you can see the actual directions which would not be possible if you were using a linear form of representation and this is actually a fractal grid map 
and any geographical map can be decomposed using this fractal grid map. This is a fractal grid of our life space. These are the four life spaces that we spend our time. We are either at school, at home, outdoor, or at work. So this one can be used for very many purposes. And this fractal grid focuses on intentions. That means that anything which you have to do in the future can be written here as a goal, as a to-do, as a mission, as an objective. And in fact, everything that occurs in our lives, past, present, or future, can be documented using the show intentions fractal grid. This is one which deals with modeling and any story of any individual, any team, or any organization, or even a country can be documented using the entrepreneur story fractal grid. So business models, governance models, all these models which show about how value is created, delivered, captured, and or shared can be documented using this entrepreneur story app. Here we show the entrepreneur story app, but, it, but in terms of categories. This is the supply side, which is green. This is the product side, which is white. And the blue side is the customer side. And at the bottom of the foundation is the value side. So it's very easy to use the green, white, and blue to describe a supply chain of any system or any ecosystem or platform or business or any organization. So this one actually captures how you can quickly do that. You can also use a fractal grid to describe a distributed team, um, especially now there are many distributed projects. So these show how the teams can be distributed and the teams could all be on one page and using a collaborative platform such as in Google Slides, you can actually observe and see how teams are working. So finally, we are showing a set of blank templates. This is a level zero template, which is the sun. Now we see the sun and planets. Now we see the sun, planets, and moon, although they are blank, but we know, we now know the language and we can refer to these as different colored planets and moons. And final, the final of the final fractal grid is a fractal grid of intentions. And these show some uses that you can um, apply the fractal grid to. So you can play games with a fractal grid. You can write essays. You can improve results. You can map governance systems. You can also improve and innovate on business models. You can visualize data, improve memory, and also improve multiple intelligences. So I thank you for your intention. This is Dr. God King. For more information on fractal grid coaching, mentoring, and or training, you can contact me at rodkunhking at gmail.com. Once again, thank you for your attention.